Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we have a new frame. Well, it's not a new frame, but it's a new one that I've gotten that's new. Um, it is called the Transtech Zoro. And it is a, I believe it's a four millimeter bottom plate and the top plate, the whole mount, top mounting solution is basically all alu aluminum. So it is 7075 aluminum, which is the good aluminum, not the um, butter aluminum, if you want to use that word for it. So it's pretty sweet. So as we can see here, we have our top plate, we have our bottom plate. The bottom plate is still that same old uh, Transtech carbon, which is the good one. They, they haven't gone cheap on us here. They give you this pretty awesome thing right here. So this, as I believe, it's supposed to help you remove your prop. And this is for the nut. So some, some motors have a little extra notch. And I guess you can grab that and then just pop it off. So this is pretty sweet. I really do like this. Now uh, this is going to come in handy, actually. And um, as we can see here, they give us battery strap and an SMA extension, a pigtail to an SMA. So that's very, well, that's very good. Um, I think that'll be that'll connect somewhere here. We'll see as we put it together and obviously give you the bottom plate and let's just take a look at the bottom plate here. So as you can see, look, the holes are very well spaced and there isn't many holes down here. So that'll keep the whole structural integrity. I mean, it'll keep it very stiff and very good. So it is a four millimeter. So this whole bottom plate is a four millimeter bottom plate. So that's very good. Uh, they do give you the RGB LEDs and these are silicone. I've already checked these. So that's very sweet of them. Very nice of them. And they give you this little, uh, this carbon fiber plate which goes I believe like somewhere up here as you're putting it together so you can actually stick your uh, like VTX or maybe a receiver and that kind of stuff so it does have some kind of mounting solution as you can see it goes in like that so that's pretty sweet um, just, I'm just double checking everything here just double check the documentation Yep, seems it would go just like that. I'm just double checking, yeah. I mean, that's the only thing that makes logical sense here to me. So yeah, it would go like this, actually, and hold, just make, basically make a separation between your flight controller and your VTX or your receiver or whatever you want. And they give you this battery protector that goes on the bottom of the battery. But I think you're going to run your battery straps through the bottom here, so you're going to need some clearance for your flight controller. So you can have the battery strap go all the way through. And they give you our hardware. So I'm going to quickly put this together. And once it's put together, I'll be right back. Alright guys, so he's assembled here. And he feels very light. So we're going to we're gonna weigh him in a little bit right now. So all it took is four screws to hold these guys in place. And I did stick that carbon fiber uh, plate that they gave us here. So this is actually pretty sweet. I actually think it could even fit a Runcam Micro. Because it has two holes here. And it has a nut and a small screw to basically hold, you know, those adapters. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about, those, you know, metal adapters. So you can actually put a run cam micro in there and that'll reduce weight. So that's actually pretty sweet. And we do have enough clearance and actually a lot of height here. So you could put like a 4-1 ESC here, I believe, or your flight controller or all-in-one flight controller in your ESCs out here. So you do have some nice clearance here and you have a bunch of clearance up here. So that's very good. Um, you could stick your VTX basically all the way up to the top and you won't get in the way of anything. So that's just awesome. Um, you can not use this if you wanted to and you can use it if you wanted to. So it's up to you. I mean, you need to take a note. There's three screws that hold this thing together like this. It's these guys right there. So uh, you have to take note of which way you put them in because this side, the thin side, doesn't have any threads. So it'll just slide right through because when I first put it, I put it in like this and I saw it wasn't catching. Well, I figured out that I had to do it the other way. So you, I put them in here and then it just catch perfect. So there's no way in hell I'm opening this guy. And um, to be honest, guys, the overall, um, it seems to be very well protected, to be honest. I'm not going to lie. This is just insane. And test. Oh, yeah, it's... um. It's transtech carbon. I really, I, that, that's all I can really say. I'm pretty sure you guys already know how transtech carbon is like. Um, overall, seems very nice. Let's check its weight. Um, I really can't say anything. Maybe we can build some kind of test quad uh, with this guy for the channel. I really don't know what I'm going to build on this guy. 76 grams? To be honest, I was not expecting this at all. Wow. It's, I, I, I believe it's durable. It seems durable and it's 76 grams. That's crazy. It doesn't even fit a five inch prop. Yeah, so it's a five inch quad. It's a, it's, I, don't, I can't, it's 220 millimeter wheelbase. I believe that's what it's saying. Let's just double check. And I believe it is a true X here. 
131 and 131 yeah it's a true x so that's very good four millimeter bottom plate uh seems sturdy as hell seems like it could take a hit and it's pretty light actually 76 grams i did not expect this and if you remove that plate in the middle right there it's even less so that's just crazy so you can go absolutely insane with this and you have enough room to go insane with this so that's just that's pretty awesome actually However, some possibly like all-in-one flight controllers with ESCs possibly won't fit, but I could be wrong. I mean, I could see possibly the, the, the Razor Star one fitting in, but I don't see an Asgard fitting in here at all. So, yeah. And the mounting solutions, you have pretty much a lot of mounting solutions. You have a lot of opening, which is good if you like your battery through the side, if you like your battery through the back. I mean, it's up to you, even through the front if you wanted to. So it does have a lot of very, very good solutions. Uh, I believe you're, you're expected to mount your battery on the bottom here and to bring it in through the sides right here. So, yeah. Well, overall, this is a, a pretty light quad, actually. I did not expect this at all. And um, seems very nice. It seems like it could take a hit. Um, this. I don't know, I, I don't want to say it's good for beginner maybe, but um, if you're the type of guy that keeps crashing and wants possibly a backup quad to take a hit, this seems like the guy that would actually take a lot of hits. Um, but this is just me just saying this, I, I don't know if it's true or not. So if anyone's used this frame, uh, please let us know down in the comment section, I'll, I'll be more than happy to hear it, and I'm sure others as well would like to know. So um, overall, that's all I can really say right now. And um, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys have any questions or any suggestions, feel free to let me know. And I will see you next time. See you guys. Take care.